today's video is going to be my everyday routine or as some of you guys are familiar a get ready with me so I just show you guys my makeup and hair that I pretty much do yeah every day so I hope you guys find this helpful I switched out a few products since the last one I did which was a few months ago um, so I thought hopefully you guys find this helpful I'm all like flustered but before we get into the video I wanted to share a fun experience with you guys I got to go on set with Revlon and sets are always so fun to go on for me because they're so different from like my setup it's always just you know Patrick and I but to go on something with like fancy lights fancy cameras awesome set design and everything is just really fun so I had a lot of fun with them I got to film three videos a flawless face a <laughs> smoky eye and a contour and I got to use their new makeup brushes I was introduced to them so that was really cool I got to even take them home and now I get to play with them all the time which is really awesome um, so if you guys want to check out the videos that I filmed with them I will have a link in the description box below but anyways I really hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started to begin, I applied some coconut oil to moisturize my face, and then I go right in with primer. I love using the Benefit Porefessional Primer. You guys know I've been using this stuff for a while. It smooths down my face really well. Then for foundation, I go in with the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation, which I just recently started using, and I really love. It feels really lightweight and nice. And I apply that with a Revlon foundation brush. I like using a brush for this part because, as you can see, I have some problem areas right now, grr. Um, but it helps kind of pack on that product and really get it to where you want it to be. And then I go in later and blend it out. So then I go in with a concealer and I take a concealer brush for this part because if you've ever used the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye, you know how thick it is. So having a concealer brush to kind of go right up in the areas that you want it to go really helps you out. Then I go in with the Urban Decay Naked Concealer and I basically apply this wherever I have problem areas. The other concealer was mainly for under eyes so this helps kind of conceal all of the blemishes that I don't want to be shown. And then I go in with a beauty blender to just kind of pat that and press that into my skin for a very airbrushed look. Like I said, I like using the beauty blender to do this and then the foundation brush to really apply and get the product everywhere I want it to go. Then I go in with the Revlon powder brush and I pick up some translucent powder. I like using the Laura Mercier one and I basically just spread that all over my face to give kind of a mattified look and set everything. Next up, I'm grabbing the contour brush and I'm picking up some bronzer. I've been using the Becca Cosmetics Bronzer Duo for a long time now. I love it. And I basically just use circular motions in the contour places of your face. So under the cheekbones, on your forehead, underneath your jawline, and on your nose if you want to. Then I go in with the blush brush and I pick up some blush. Lately, I've been using the NARS blush in the color Deep Throat and I place that on the apples of my cheeks. Now I grab the Kabuki brush and I pick up some highlighter. My holy grail highlighter is the Becca Cosmetics one. I just love it, but having this brush kind of packs on the highlighter exactly where I want to and it shows up really well. Now moving on to the eyebrows. So I grab a spoolie brush and I comb out my eyebrows first. This is really important because if you're anything like me when you sleep, it, they just kind of get all crazy. Plus my brows are crazy in general, so combing them out really helps. Then I go in with the Anastasia Brow Duo and I basically go in with the wax one because I find that that really helps tame my hairs and really fills in into the places that I want to. And I basically start at the bottom of the brow first and then work my way upwards in small strokes. And then I cannot forget to brush it out afterwards. This just helps give it a more of a natural appearance. Moving on to my Holy Grail eyeshadow primer which is by NARS. This stuff is awesome and doesn't make your shadows crease at all. And I'm going to pick up the All Over Shadow Brush and pick up colors from e any Urban Decay palette, basically, Naked palette. I will have the colors I use in the description box below. But I place that all over my lid and then I grab the crease brush and I pick up a matte brown. This is something I do every single day. The thing that will change up is my eyeshadow base color. I'll either do a shimmery or a matte, but I will never not use a matte brown in my crease just because it blends so amazing. Then I go in with the eyeliner brush and I love this because I don't use eyeliner, I haven't in a really long time, and I just pick a darker color and place that on my lash line to make my eyes stand out. And then I go in with some mascara, I'm using the Revlon All-in-One Mascara and placing that on my lashes. And then you already know this part, Urban Decay Naked 2 Lip Liner is my go-to, I love it. Um, just really pretty matte, light pink mauve color. 
And then moving on to hair, I'm gonna keep this brief because you guys have seen me do this so many times, but you know every day what I love to do is just these like loose waves. Lately I've been making them even looser than I usually do, so I just take a curling wand. I have always been using the new me ones, and I basically just wrap it around the barrel. I When I'm just like in a hurry or just like an everyday basis, I will do it really quick. Like as you see here, I'm just kind of throwing them on the barrel, but I like it because it gives kind of like a straight wavy look to it. Very messy, that's my thing. I love it to look messy. I hate uniform. Um, so this kind of is just like my go-to. Wait for the curls to cool off and then I go in with um, a texturizing spray or like a beach spray and that's how I get the texture and mess it up a lot and it looks perfect for the next day too. Like second day hair, it's my go-to. Love it. Of course, finish off with hairspray and I'm done. For my outfit, I kept it super spring with the floral dress. I got that from Revolve Clothing, and then my shoes are from Jeffrey Campbell. This is kind of like a super spring inspired outfit, but if you want to see more of like my day-to-day -day outfits, go on my Instagram, shameless plug for you guys. But seriously, I post so many outfit pics on there that you will be the first to know before YouTube does. So if you're into that kind of stuff, go check it out. But that's my video for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below what videos you guys want to see next. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!